an investigative journalist by the name of Gary Webb decided to look into the advent of the crack epidemic in Los Angeles. And that investigation led him right back to Nicaragua. So here's what he found. He found that the Contra rebels were not one monolithic unit. They were divided into northern rebels and southern rebels. More importantly, he found that the rebels were largely in the pay of the CIA. Now, the Drug Enforcement Administration was also present in Nicaragua at the time. And remember, it's DEA's job to stop the flow of drugs to the United States. The CIA, though, doesn't care about drugs. In many cases, it's perfectly happy to allow drugs into the United States if it helps them to fight communism or contemporaneously to fight terrorism. Drugs are DEA's problem. The CIA is not going to trouble itself with drugs. And so these drugs were making their way to California. Gary Webb traveled to Nicaragua where he interviewed dozens of Contra rebels, including Contra leaders. He also interviewed members of the Sandinista government who told him, look, there's a drug problem, but it has nothing to do with us. It's your people, the Contras, that are bringing these drugs to the United States. 